Lego is small, but we're gonna make it smaller. Because in this video, I'm gonna be making 75 different tiny builds in Lego, and at the end, combine them to get a Lego world. For a couple of years now, LEGO has made a ton of LEGO sets, including these microfighter Star Wars ships that I own. A small ship, but big enough to hold a minifigure. I even have this tiny black LEGO Lamborghini. However, these builds nope. are not tiny enough. So I'm gonna have to make my own. Like, you can make a tiny LEGO minifigure using studs. Or these micro minifigures that have only been released in some sets. But we're gonna split off into six sections of the video. Starting off with buildings. Buildings are the main part of a city. So we're gonna have to make a ton of them. First, if you grab a ton of these teal pieces, you could build the Statue of Liberty. Or use jumper pieces like I use in this orange and gray building, this tan and nugget building, this gray and dark gray building, and this gold brown building. This building technique is fire. You can also use Lego minifigure heads like this building, just don't look in the back. Or you can also switch colors every other floor like this building, which kind of looks like a hospital, and this tall red skyscraper. But what if we go into the future? Using these weird cylinder pieces, I was able to make these cool futuristic buildings like this peach one and this gray one. I was also able to use these cool flower pieces that I never used for a building, just stacking them on top of each other. We could get creative and build a nature building, this lighthouse using another minifigure head, a burning building, building its own fire, a very, very tiny Lego city, this Lego house, as long as this huge white and light blue skyscraper that looks like something you'll see in the future. Now, let's see what other Lego YouTubers want me to build. Starting off with Brick Science. What's up, Lego fanatics? It's Riley from Brick Science, and I want you to build a mini Lego submarine. It has to have some sort of torpedo. I think that'd be cool. Can't wait to see what you make. I started off by grabbing cylinder pieces to get the shape of the submarine. And then I used the stud shooter gun that minifigures Whoa. use for the turrets of the submarine. It turned out way better than expected. Next, let's see what Republic Studs wants to say. I couldn't download the footage, but he wanted me to make a tiny Lego play button. For the play button, I used this jumper piece to connect a triangle to get the YouTube logo. Added a couple more details and it's perfect. Hey fanatics, it's Half Asleep Chris here, and I challenge you to either build a really tiny red London bus or a rhino. They're two pretty different things, so I'll let you decide. Let's build both of them. Using two 1x2 red tiles and a transparent piece, you can make a London bus. Rhinos look extremely complicated, but by grabbing a couple of weird pieces, you can make it. Just a bit cursed looking. Next, Bricktastic Lego Ideas. Hi fanatics, so something that I think would be cool for you to build miniature in Lego would be a roller coaster. Good luck. If you use these slope pieces, it looks like a roller coaster track. Add those everywhere, and you got yourself a roller coaster. You can even add this booth to your ticket set for the ride. Lastly, it's time for one of the biggest LEGO YouTubers on the platform, TD Bricks. So I heard you want a challenge. <laughs> I got one for you. I challenge you to build a LEGO minion, just like this one. Your challenge begins now. I took the cylinder block, painted it yellow in its face, added its body, and a banana for its accessory to get a minion. Next, let's build some movies. You can use this tree chunk piece to make Shrek Swamp, even a tiny Lego Shrek and Duncan. If you take a bunch of these tan arch pieces, you can make the Hogwarts castle from Harry Potter. But what about Marvel? I built a mini version of the Lego Daily Beagle set and the Doctor Strange Sanctorum set. Both of them look amazing together, just like this up house. Up, up, and away. Another W movie is Cars. I built this famous scene from the movie, and I loved how it turned out. If you find these railing pieces, they look like fences from the Jurassic Park movie. Put them on all sides, and add a sort of looking dinosaur. Very cursed. It was way too complicated to build. Next, if you use this garbage can Lego piece, flip it upside down and add a trunk, you kind of get the tree from Adventure Time. Lastly, I built this million falcon from Star Wars using these triangle pieces to get the shape right. Next, a way for transportation, vehicles. I built this car using only two pieces, a jumper plate and a plate. You can build a taxi basically doing the same thing, but just switching the colors. If you use this weird gun piece and add these pieces onto it, you get the front of a train. Just put these one by two pieces to get the carriages. For a skateboard, you only need this rollerblading piece that minifigures use. Pretty cool, right? Next, a fast transportation, flying. I built this tiny Lego plane, very tiny compared to this normal one. There might be a little turbulence. You can even make a hot air balloon by grabbing a pumpkin for the balloon. 
But what about ways to travel in water? Using these pieces, I was able to make a boat. Oh, and here's a ship in a bottle. Here are other vehicles like a tank, a tractor, a helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. And apparently, I guess dragons are a way of transportation, like in Ninjago. I used this tutorial by Bastion of Bricks to make this cool looking dragon. You can also build a rocket ship, which will lead us to the next topic, space. LEGO made a ton of these star pieces in some of their sets. Get a ton of them, and you have space. We'll be adding all of our space creations here. LEGO had also made this star piece in their sets. We could use this for the sun. I even added a meteor. I got this fire piece from the Daily Beagle set. It gives it a great effect. And if aliens truly exist, I made a tiny one in LEGO. With even this UFO I had to take from Bob. These look perfect so far. I added another alien, but more bulked up. Next, I used this illegal LEGO building technique to get a sphere, which I used to get the moon. I built the ship based off a real ship called the Saturn. After I made a LEGO satellite, I made a robot. The robot looks a bit goofy, but aren't all robots. Bruh. I put all the space creations together on the base plate, and it looks like space. Now other things I built tiny in LEGO are trees. I built 10 different ones, like this one using a candlestick holder, probably one of my favorites out of huh? all the trees. This pine tree, a palm tree, a smaller palm tree, a minecraft tree, basically the palm tree but with a one by one Bruh. piece. This very small tree, a tree that uses a circular piece, a small dead tree, a big dead tree, I grabbed a mini for your hands for the branches, pretty smart I know. And lastly with all the trees, this random one. For the Minecraft people out there, here's Steve. Also, here's Queso. I bought this W set specifically for him. Can't really tell the difference. Next, this Skibbity Toilet. Here's a mountain using a ton of slow pieces, an island for vacation, and even the soccer field. You can use the tiny minifigures we made for the soccer players. There's this campfire, and last but not least, a floating island. After building a ton of tiny builds in LEGO, let's combine them to get a LEGO world. I started by grabbing this empty gray platform that will soon be something amazing. I would have three sections, city, ocean, and mountain. I first used this roller coaster base plate because everybody needs to have some fun sometime. Then I grabbed this blue plate for the ocean part. I got some of these dark gray tiles for the city roads. I added cars along the way. Then I used the buildings that we built before. I decided to also add a ton of trees all over the place by the roller coaster and the mountain area, which is where we will build next. I put the tiny mountain right here and built more to it to make it bigger. I put the island, boat, and Statue of Liberty in the ocean, but now there's nothing in the sky. Very plain. So I brought the up house floating in the sky and a plane. Both of these look really cool together. I had a couple more finishing details all over the place and it was finished. I really like how it turned out and found that you could still make things in LEGO much tinier than you think. Every part is useful in some way. Thanks for watching, I hope I got fully monetized and I want to thank you all for watching these videos I've made so far. Also thank you to the LEGO YouTubers who gave me ideas, can't thank you enough. Otherwise I'll see ya on the next one.